Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K24 video. Now I know I'm getting a little bit close to the camera, but I got a question for y'all. I want y'all to boot up whatever console you play NBA 2K24 on right now. And I want you to load up into my career and tell me right before you press X on whatever last build you were using, let me know the date and time. And when you played on your bill, please, before you press X, before you actually load up into the city, I want you to show me the date. Go ahead and type it out in the comment section right now. But today's video is about a revamp. Now, of course, NBA 2K24 has been out since September 8th. It is now hmm, November. What is that? 10th. So we are two months and a few days after the game released. And we are in a trying time as basketball fans and nba 2k fans now the reason why i'm making this video is to just shed light and i know i'm using that word in vain right now because that's literally what we need we need more light i've been an elite player since the start of the game i didn't switch up i ain't go to rise and all that nonsense i've been elite the entire time and I've only played maybe four to five games in the Rise Park. So all the rest of the park games that I have, oh yeah, the ones that reset and now I actually don't know how many games I played all together. Yeah, I played that many games inside the Elite Park and there is a huge problem. I can't see shit. I, I literally can't. If I put gloves on, if I put black hands on, if I put on a long sleeve t-shirt, if I put on a black sweater, I can't see. Not only is it dark in the elite park, they say that, hey, it's realism. Some people play in the shade. That's great. But again, I can't see. And I got a couple things that I want to talk about in this video that I think can help that. So, hey, make sure you like the video, subscribe. I know you're probably asking, Pa, what happened to your hand? Let's just say... I'm a gamer. So what, you're just gonna put iPod on shuffle? Thank you, baby. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Keep making bang. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Keep making bang. Every single song you own is a banger. So, I put out a tweet on November 4th, 2023. Letting everyone know that the Elite Park needs a revamp. I said, we are tired of playing in the shade all day while playing with the visual cue. It's too dark to see anything. And the reason that I say this is, when you load up into the Elite Park, the only courts that mainly get mostly a lot of sun is the twos courts. All of the other courts are completely blocked by shade in just the weirdest like times of the day. For instance, if it is high noon, which means that's where the sun is supposed to be at the center of whatever, right? Whatever is noon on the game, there is still shade everywhere because the elite park is literally, it's, it's covered in a half dome, if that makes sense. It's like the walls come up around the entire elite park. It just leaves a little opening so that you could just look up in the sky real fast. It's it's terrible. It's a terrible design flaw. And it's simply because 2K has talked about all of the dope upgrades that they've done, all of the innovation to lighting and, and things like that. And we seem to still be having problems with parks in 2023 with shading problems. If anybody remembers NBA 2K, what, 21, uh, 22? 23 every park had shading problems and and then when 23 came out they came out with parks that were just open you know what i'm saying like just open to the world it was nothing around them and you can literally play in the dark and in the daytime and nothing would be obstructing your view so 2k actually got everything that we wanted with 23 but now it seems that we're right back to the same old problems and it doesn't make sense to me because I remember when we used to play over at the Knights Court on 22, and I just used to be like, bro, god damn, god damn, I can't see shit. 21 was even worse, god damn. 
That's a that's a tall ass goddamn skyscraper right there. That that motherfucker blocking everything. So I want to know what went wrong with the innovation of keeping the shade out of the park. Because when it comes down to it, with the shade being there, 2K's lighting has no justice at all. For instance, if you play in any enclosed uh, part of the game, whether it be a, a game arena in my career, whether it be the club 2K, whether it be the event center, 2K's lighting indoors is great. It's great. It's it's everything it needs to be. But they don't have a counterpart to when things are half enclosed, where there's something that you can look into from above, like when you're looking at every court at the elite park and it's so hard to see every court. It's it's huge problems. But on the on this tweet that I had put out, um Power DF said using the visual cue sometimes is too dark to see with the shade and I literally can't shoot. Uh K Sounds want me to join Rise. I won't do it. Um QBZ said this is facts. Um Sosa said my friend invited me to Elite and I was instantly sighing because it's a hassle to see your cue in that park. The lighting in 2K is terrible, even in the Gator race, other places too. I hate it, absolutely hate it. You can only play at Rise and maybe one court in Elite. I'm like 24, but the lighting in general needs overhaul. No one wants to glare on the courts or super dark areas. I don't play NBA 2K24 that much, but from what I have played and what I've saw, it it is and looks hard to see the queue when it's night or even during the day sometimes on a lot of the outside areas that give off shade. All right. Um, both parks should be refreshed. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Me racing randoms to a spot on twos because it's so far away from the subway what is wrong with people uh facts it's difficult to play park when you can't see your queue um and then this person just told me to join rise and i don't know what this additional comment is and since it can uh contain uh, offensive content but i'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show that but what i do want to show you guys is what i'm talking about because of course there may be people here that are watching us like, bro, I don't remember seeing none of that. So I guess I need to, you know, refresh your memory. Now, this right here is one of my latest YouTube videos, right? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and play it and show you exactly what I'm talking about. The current court that we're playing on, which is a threes court, it's the court that is literally directly next to the subway. This is one of the shading problems that we have to deal with. Half of the, I'm sorry, more than half of the court is in shade. Only about 25% of the court, which is the corners and, and, and two parts of the wings are not shaded. Now you can see when the players move in and out of the shade, how much cleaner they look, how much more, you know, you can see it's, it's unbearable. It's literally night and day. For whatever reason, I would think that if 2K wanted to make a park seemingly play well in night and day, that the lights and things that are supposed to shine onto the court would work at night. That's that's what my my brain would say. Hey, they are supposed to work at night. That's that's what lights are for. They're for the nighttime, but not in the daytime. Do we also need lights on the court for shade? It doesn't make any sense. And, and and if you look at the gameplay, a lot of the people that are taking jumpers and stuff like that, a lot of them are staying out of the shaded area because it's harder to see your cue. Now, of course, on that fast break, both players darted to the corners. But once I threw up icons, I wasn't going to let the person that's sitting in the shade take that shot because I know how hard it is to see your cue. I wouldn't do that to him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare do that to my own teammate. <laughs> but let's be honest. This is a problem. This entire park needs a revamp. It needs to come out of the shadows, literally, and step into the light. Even with the court that's over on the other side, you can tell it's only one shaded part. And that's one of the corners. The rest of that court, 95% of that court over there, is in shade. Now look at the twos court behind me. Completely in the clear. You can see everything. 
having no problems with that. And I don't know why this guy's taking that bad shot like that. But like I was saying, right? Look, shaded area. Now, our point guard is a really good shooter. He can hit those. But there are a lot of people that complain, not only with the fireball, but that in the shade, it's too hard to see because you have to remember, a lot of us are not playing on gaming monitors that have the colors the correct way. Some of us are playing on TVs that are maybe in classic or sport mode or something like that. Some people now that technology is so advanced, they're playing in HDR, which makes things even darker than they're supposed to be with the HDR. So just imagine that, you know what I'm saying? Just imagine that issue there. It would drive someone crazy that they can't see. And, and I'm gonna be honest, it's driving me crazy too. So this is a little message for NBA 2K. As far as the elite part goes, it is time to take away all of the obstructions. Now, I get it. Being in the top 10 allows you to have a dope intro scene where you utilize the huge obstructions inside that part to arrive in style. I understand that, but we're going to need a different way. Maybe the tubing should go across the edges of the park to open up the park to more sun. Maybe the walls, instead of them being so high, they need to come down a little bit to give more sun to those parks. Now, another thing we could do, we understand that rise is an underwater, you know, type of deal, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. But why not give the elite the same type of grace by putting a few courts underground that is lit with with your dope lighting and, and, and art system and graphics to make people a little bit more susceptible to wanting to play in the elite part? I believe if you put elite like, you know, twos, courts, threes, courts, and even maybe a random court underground, that would be really, really dope. You know what I mean? Utilize the, the subway tunnel system as a way to even transfer to that place. Even if you don't want to build it inside of the park, maybe make a underground subway entrance or an underground door or something like that to give people a better look at the park. Because right now, there's only, like I said, two or three good courts inside the elite. Not even three, just two. I believe that there's the randoms, randoms court right all the way on the one side and then you got the twos courts over on the, on the other side that is good the arriving style spot where everybody arrives with that are top 10 that's the most lit spot in the entire game for the elites and i don't understand why we're not utilizing that the people that are in the top 10 is and they don't even like it i think a change needs to happen but i would love to get to know what your thoughts are in the comment section y'all um, maybe I'm just a rambling old head that doesn't care about anything besides graphics, but I know that 2k has its issues and I'm hoping that they fix them for the community's sake, because a lot of us as creators and even gamers are going to be moving on. Um, this happens every year. Um, I believe now it's becoming more apparent because, you know, of the backlash that 2k gets from the community. Um, when August happens, there's really nothing much going on. So Madden comes out and another video game comes out and they only have about a month of grace until 2K comes out. So when everybody says the quotation, these, these are my quotation fingers, Madden's dead, they move on to 2K. And then when they, I'm using my quote fingers, 2K's dead, when they do that, Call of Duty's coming out. Apex has another uh, season uh, coming out. Fortnite is coming out with another season. Grand Theft Auto just dropped another DLC for the fall. So this is always going to happen in gaming, especially when these video games are on a yearly cycle. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you are a gamer and you're not playing all of these different titles that come out, like for instance, Spider-Man, which I played on my Twitch channel, you should be playing all types of video games. If you're a gamer. Now, if you only play 2k, and you let 2K stress you out, I'm praying for you, for sure. I'm definitely praying for you because it shouldn't be like that. As a gamer, you should have other titles that give you different types of enjoyment. You know what I'm saying? And not just worry about 
all the bad that 2K is doing, all the good that they're doing. The good isn't lasting as long as the bad. Oh my God, I can't make my jump shot. Oh my God, I got to make a new build. Oh my, I hope that you're not driving yourself crazy thinking about so much about 2K. But I do want to make sure that I use my platform and my voice to make sure that I'm talking about the real issues at hand and why people aren't playing the game as much as they want. Like for instance, they had to revert one of the rec uh, designs simply because people with different camera views couldn't see the court because of an obstruction. So it's time to think about all obstructions that are in the way, get them out of the paint so that we can enjoy our gaming experience more so than playing in the shade. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba.